Okay, so this is a game called Berserk. It's a shooter arcade game that was made in the 80s. And this is a creepy game for three reasons. Reason one, the guy that designed it, Alan McNeil, designed it after a dream he had fighting robots in a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> creepy. He, he made this um, game based on his dreams. Yes. He made this based on his dreams. And I've you know, had I worse had... dreams, but hey, you know. At, I had a dream. I had a recurring dream where I was Mickey Mouse and I was on the moon. <laughs> and um, it, all, it ended with me going down a water slide, and then my family uh, went down the water slide, and I flew off the water slide alone and landed on a circus tent and woke up. But my, so... <laughs> my family went to... And then I would wake up, and I would have came all over myself. Ew, Brian, okay, never mind. But the Brian. rest of it's true besides the comic. Because what I'm trying to say is how is that a video? That's not a fun video game. But it looked like a video game. It looked like I was playing Mickey Mouse in a video game on the moon. I forgot to mention but so that. So you, you, you win the game when you land on a tent in orgasm? No, it's not a win. It's a dream. It, it, it's something about my family and me not being on the same page, and they all go down the slide together, and then I fly off, and I land on a tent. And I all right, it's so a, it's a falling dream. Fucked up dreams. Yeah, this anyway, guy berserk. had a fucked up dream. <laughs> This guy had a fucked up Where dream. robots were chasing him, which was very in advanced. Hallway. Very advanced for the 80s. So in yeah. the 80s, everything in arcade games kind of looks like hallways. So mm -hmm, this is a mm -hmm. perfect design, right? He, he had a dream about a hallway, and he's like, this, this is, is so game. convenient. I, I work in hallways. So another <laughs> another creepy thing about this game is that there is a villain, yeah. and... The villain in the game is just a big smiley face. Mm -hmm. So it's like a yellow smiley face, but it can't be killed and it is it will kill you instantly. So it just appears out of nowhere smiling at you and there's no way to defend yourself against it except for that you just run away from it. Well, really. I've seen people avoid the face. The, the trick is you got to kill the robots before the face gets you. But that face okay. it's a scary face. It can go through walls. I it's mean just, it's hard to and it's named Evil Otto. And it's just a smiley face. It's just a smile face named Evil Otto. That's and the villain. A smiley yes, face. I know. <laughs> happiness is the villain. Yes. Yes. Happiness. Now you're on to something, Sebastian. Now it's Sebastian knows what he's... Now he's on a roll here. Happiness no, is the villain. Happiness in this, like, jo you know, like Joker from Batman kind of insanity. It's being content. Yes. It's being happy, not making forward progress. That's the villain. Because once you're happy, then you stop making advances, stop well, questioning things, and then boom, anyone could do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, that's a good message coming from someone who came up with his best idea in a dream. <laughs> well, Let me go to sleep and be the most productive I've ever been. Alan also Alan? named this evil auto after a <laughs> Who's a Alan? Alan, the guy. the guy who designed the game. The, the oh, hallway the sleeping guy. guy, the hallway guy. The, the hallway, guy. the sleeping guy. Alan, that's his name, so, Alan? His name's Alan. I'm calling him Alan because his name's Alan. I thought everyone who made video games was Japanese. <laughs> no, not That's just not my racism. Game. Alan McNeil, dude. This is the 80s we're talking about. Everyone wanted in on this. McNeil, so he's Irish? Ugh. All right, no, go on, okay. Phoebe. I'm sorry. Go on. I mean... <laughs> Jesus, I, that sounds so horrible. Audible. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so he named this evil Otto after his co-worker named Dave Otto. Oh. <laughs> who, according to Alan, would smile while chewing you out. So that's why this guy's creepy, because he fuck? would. He'd, <laughs> this is a quote. This he would he'd smile, smile while chewing, while you, chewing out. you out. That's so funny. Hey Dave, uh, did you see that video game I made? <laughs> oh you're yeah. The bad guy. And, and you're like, just a smiley face that goes through walls. Yes, and you're because uh, he smiles when he puts him down. So if Dave frowned while chewing you out, then he would never have been immortalized in a video no. game. So he would just be too depressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but the fact mm -hmm. that he takes so much pleasure in like putting you down, that's what's scary. So he's like sadistic and creepy. Okay, so this is a game that was based on a dream and then there's a smiley face monster. Not so creepy. Okay. This, is, okay, this doesn't so sound bad. that creepy. Well, there's a third reason. Okay? A third reason? Yes, there's a third reason. Just <laughs> one year, just one year after this game was released, a 19-year-old boy named Jeff Daly made the Berserk top 10 list. And after posting his high score of 16,660 points. That's 666. I know. That's the Satan's number. I, I know. Well, this kid at 19 dropped dead of a heart attack. Dropped right after dead this. at 19? Yes. 
Wow. Of a heart attack after posting the high score? Yes, he posted the high score. He I don't know it. about this one either. No, Did, no, he, he died. He dead in front of the machine? Yes, he, he dropped just, dead. He got the high score, and then he, <laughs> he then so, his heart was like, I cannot take it anymore. This is too exciting. He died. And then, one year later, an 18-year-old boy, Peter Bukowski, after entering <laughs> Fire a Tux Polak. Game Friar Tuck's Game Room in Illinois made the Berserk Top 10 list twice in 15 minutes. Wow. Dropped dead of a heart attack. He died too? And how old was he? 18. 18. So the next so victim, 17. Well, there's no... There, this is the two victims. So these are the only two recorded deaths from arcade games. People experience a ton of, like... Uh, seizures. seizures and yeah. blackouts and like mm -hmm, they, yeah. they get really dehydrated yeah and maybe they die later <laughs> from this <laughs> from from but, natural causes when they're 90 <laughs> yeah or from natural, some people play video games like, and then they die of uh diabetes when they're 72 i mean i didn't look into it i'm sure other people have died from uh arcade games but mm -hmm. this is the first these are the first uh like heart attacks from wow. teenagers it seems like a direct attack from uh from uh, alan if you looked at the game, it's really like highly stressful and the music, it's just like offbeat. It's just offbeat. Yeah, I so, don't like the music. You know, you think with a game like this, you know, they might take it out of the arcade game. Listen to that. Yeah, that makes my heart jump a little. I mean, games are crazy, but these kids, you know, really high scores. Something anyway. interesting about uh, Berserker that we didn't mention is that um, this was the one. Of, this was the first game to talk to you. This was the oh. first game that had vocal words saying, and then and, it's, and they can say thirty words, which is the most ever. Which is and maybe that's why it was so startling. It was just like you really got involved. Yeah. This is the first game yeah. that you was talking with mm -hmm. you, talking at you. They kept on saying more cocaine, do more <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> no cooperation. It's like it's like the people who watched Avatar and then lost their fucking minds. They were just so engrossed in the movie that they lost their minds. This was the I first video game like to them. talk to you, and then they lost their minds. I couldn't get over the tails. They grossed me out so much. No. All right, well, now we're going to move on to number three. Wait, wait, Brian, do you know oh. what happened to the game? No, what happened? Did it, did it get taken by the men in black? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It's just you can play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can still play it. You can play it. It's oh, that's fine. great. So look for Berserker, and you can play Berserker. All right. Two, two children have died playing it, but you can still play it. And then, boom, anyone could do whatever the fuck they want.